Hey guys, welcome back to my channel, it's Daya Monet. So in today's video, we're talking all about why you need to stop letting men run in and out of your life, honey. We have to stop letting these men run havoc on our emotions and our feelings by popping in whenever they want to. We're gonna get to the bottom of the real reason why men are always, or should I say boys, coming back and popping back into your life randomly. What you have to understand is that if you're continuing to allow people to run in and out of your life, it means that you're standing still. And we're gonna get into that later in the video, but we have to stop letting unintentional men access to our lives because whether you realize it or not, it's causing you to remain stuck in the past emotionally and mentally. It's basically like continuing to put a bookmark in your chapter that should have been closed a long time ago every time you decide to text them back or respond to a DM. Like a lot of the times, the reason why we're not able to fully move on emotionally is because these people are continuing to pop up randomly. And each time they pop up, whether you realize it or not, you're, they're giving you false hope. You're like, oh, maybe they're different this time. Maybe they're going to do right by me this time or be consistent, be intentional. But a lot of the times you end up realizing that they're still in the same type of time that they were before, still playing the same games, not really serious about you. And you just end up getting all worked up for no reason. And sometimes, you know, you might be feeling yourself like, mm hmm, they always come back. Yeah, I'm that girl. They can't stay away. So this is not the flex that you think it is. It's really not. The only reason they keep coming back is because you're continuing to keep that line of communication open. Like, think about it. I literally actually heard this from a man himself, an older man at that. He said, if I can continually continue to text you or call you whenever I want, like, if you haven't blocked me or you're still replying, then that means you still care about me. Whether you realize it or not, it could still be deep down. Like, you have some type of care, some type of, like, you're giving this man the type of day. Because when you think about it, if a guy's super annoying or you just don't like him at all, you're either going to block him or you're just going to ignore him. So the fact that you're still replying to this man means that there's still some type of lifeline going and you're continuing to keep it alive. And so he's like, oh, bet. I still got her. I still got her within reach. I can still have her like that. That's what he's thinking. So the key way to tell whether a man is coming back to actually be serious this time or if he's just here to stroke his ego is by seeing if his words line up with his actions. Like, y'all have to realize that men will say anything. They won't say anything. They, a lot of guys just literally just like to talk just to talk, but their actions don't actually match up. And we as women have to do a better job of actually detecting if those things are lining up. Like, I'm not going to lie, my main love language is words of affirmation. So if it sounded good, I'm like, wow, heart get all fuzzy and stuff. Then I'm like, wait, he's still inconsistent. Wait, he's still not doing this, this, and that. He's still behaving this way, talking to me that way. You have to really open your eyes and see what's really good because, like I said, they'll just throw some breadcrumbs, some, oh, yeah, you're this, you're beautiful, you know you was always the one. They may even apologize, but an apology is nothing without changed behavior. Remember that. People can say what they want to say every day, all day, and they be like, oh, you're the perfect woman, this, this, and that. Guys love to tell you how great of a woman you are, but won't do what they need to do as a man to step up to the plate. Like, make it make sense. I'm so great, yet you're not trying to do right by me. Make it make sense. They just be talking, sis. They just be talking. They want to say. They want to say what you want to hear. So you have to, you know, like I said, wake up and see it for what it is, which is just him just stroking his ego and just coming back because you're letting him. Like if they're still doing the same things that used to blow you back in the day, then you know that they really haven't changed. Like they're still inconsistent, still randomly ghosting you. Like they're the ones that hit you up and then they go ghost or start replying slow. Like clearly not serious because someone who's really interested in you a man who's really serious about you he's gonna let you know it's not gonna be no doubt in your mind you're not gonna have to be questioning oh maybe he just fell asleep for 12 hours oh maybe something happened with his grandma you don't have to make all them daggone excuses honey for him because you're gonna know what it is and he's gonna be right up on you like literally applying pressure applying pressure point blank period so if he's not doing that if he's going inconsistent when he's the one that's you know popping back in into your life, literally hits you up, then you already know what it is. So like I said before, inconsistent, texting back slow. Another thing is the conversations are hitting a ceiling. Like if you're only conversating on a superficial level, if it's what you're doing every single day, then I really don't believe it's the man God has for you because someone who's really serious about you, they're going to really want to get to know you. They're not only going to want to see your vulnerable side, but they're going to be vulnerable themselves. Actually be able to get to the nitty gritty, pick up the phone, at least talk on the phone, not just text or FaceTime you something or better yet, link up, plan something, actually try to date you. Like if they're not taking any of those steps to really get to know you on a personal level and more than just, oh, you look good or you beautiful, oh, send me a pic, then you know they're not really serious and they're just wasting your time. Like you'll look up and it's really been like years that this one person has been popping in and out your life, never got their stuff together, never tried to be intentional. And even if they were allegedly trying to be serious with you, if nothing really came out of it, it's like, how serious were they? Like guys will just pop up and say, oh, I wish it was this, I wish it was that, or we had this good thing. Okay, then do something about it. Like 
If they're not putting any real action to their words, then you already know what it is. And the harsh reality is, sis, is that he honestly just doesn't want you. He doesn't want you. Because like I said before, you're going to know when a guy is intentional about you and really wants to do right by you. He's going to be applying pressure. He's not going to run any risk of you getting snatched up by another guy. He's going to be on it. He's going to let his intentions be known. You're not going to be playing the guessing game every day, all day. The, the honest truth is that he just wants to maintain access to you. It's really just like keeping you on the roster for real. Like, well, I already have somebody. I always have somebody I can reach out to, blah, blah, blah. Like, honestly, a lot of the times you're something to fill the time and it sucks to hear but it's real it's like I said I know we tend to hold out false hope like maybe he's gonna wake up this day and he's gonna realize I'm such a catch he's gonna make me his girl everything's gonna be good we live happy ever after no no some guys maybe that's the exception to the rule but if he hasn't done right by you really been intentional about you he doesn't think you're the one he just doesn't and you could be bomb.com what you have to understand that a guy's action doesn't reflect your self-worth. If he can't see what's in front of him, that doesn't make you any less of a woman, any less beautiful, any less smart. Always remember that. It's his loss. Stop like, oh, I must suck. I must. You are fine. If he can't see what's in front of you, then why would you want him anyway? Point blank, period. And honestly, a lot of the time, guys just be bored. Like, literally just straight up bored. And hitting you up, they're like, oh, it's something to do. Or they're getting some type of benefit from you, whether it's conversation, whether it's, like I said, stroking their ego. They'd be like, oh, yeah, I still got access to her. Or I can still hit her up whenever I want and she gonna apply. Like, a lot of times people are just really feeling the time, you know, like, oh, I can still have her on my roster if I wanted to because she's still applying. Whether you don't, even if you're not viewing him like that or viewing yourself as just falling back into his lap that quickly, he's viewing you like that. You have to recognize it for what it is. So what you need to do first and foremost is to stop replying. Like you have to stop allowing these people to have access to you constantly. They need to know that you're not just waiting around, waiting for them to hit you up and just, you know, replying straight away. Like what I had to realize, you know, it's easy to fall into that nice girl trap. And I had to understand that you can match people's energy without being mean or rude. Like if they're being, they're the ones that hit you up and they're being inconsistent or texting slow. Why are you rushing to the phone to reply to them? Like better yet, don't reply at all. But like, see, you're just like totally like matching their energy. Like they don't not consider it enough to reply, you know, reply in a good manner or, you know, reply with decent conversation. So why should you have to, especially if they're the ones that hit you up in the first place? Like just start matching people's energy and see how they react. But like I said, better yet, just don't reply at all because honestly, what's the point? If you know that you really don't see a future with them and that their actions aren't showing that they're really being intentional this time, like you're honestly just starting to waste your time. And I know it's hard, like you're gonna feel uncomfortable because like you don't wanna speak up and complain like, you're not texting me back when you barely talk to this person as it is. You don't wanna come up pressed or needy. And that's the issue, like a lot of times we don't nip stuff in the bud when it first pops up. So when stuff continues on over and over again for weeks, for months, for years, we don't feel comfortable anymore to speak up. And these guys are just having free reign, doing what they wanna do because they're super comfortable because you've allowed this behavior to occur for so long. So when it comes down to it, you don't even feel like speaking up. And at that point, it's just a lost cause. Like you should just remove yourself from the situation because you try not to tell a grown man who's supposed to be allegedly, you know, serious about you to talk to, talk to you consistently and to be consistent. So that's a lost cause. But just for, you know, food for thought for the future, nip stuff in the butt. If you don't like a certain behavior, Tell him at that moment because if not, he's just gonna be like, oh, she's gonna tolerate that, but I'm gonna add on to that. I'm gonna seem to do more and more. And I'll make a whole nother video about that, but just keep that in mind. And us ladies really need to start giving ourselves more closure because that's another reason why we tend to keep this line of communication open because sometimes you do get an apology, but sometimes you don't. And so that next time they hit you up, you might be like, oh, maybe he's gonna apologize or maybe we're gonna talk about what really happened or why he doesn't really wanna pursue me. That, a lot of times, is just not going to happen. Like, it's very rare that guys like, you know what? You're a great girl. You're a great woman. I really appreciate you and everything you represent, but you're just not for me. You know, I'm going another direction, blah, blah, blah. I really, you know, enjoy this time with you. A lot of guys aren't going to say that. They're never actually going to give you real closure. The majority aren't. And want to know why? Because if they give you closure, it's just going to be cut off. Us as women, what's somebody tell us? They don't want us. We're like, oh, bet. Well, at least you should be. You should be like, oh, yeah, I'm not messing with them no more. I'm not hitting them up. I'm not applying no more. Guys aren't going to do that because it's going to cut off their line of communication. It's going to cut off their lifeline. So they're constantly going to keep that door open. So they're never going to just tell you what it is straight up. They're going to leave you to guess and literally run into mind games on yourself so that when they do hit you up again, be like, oh, yeah, mm -hmm. you're just ready, waiting hand and foot for to say to hear what they have to say and they know that they really know that so we have to just realize what the game is and stop driving ourselves crazy 
And some of these guys are never going to give you closure either because they're continuing to get certain benefits from you. Like if you, like I said before, if you know their actions aren't aligning with their words, you definitely should not be getting physical with them, you know, physically involved with them because that's just another incentive that they're getting from you. Yet you're not getting the nurturing, you know, in the actual things that you desire out of a relationship. So it should be reciprocal. Like what you're trying to give to them, you should be getting back. It should never be one sided because you're always going to lose. The woman's always going to lose if you're trying to play that game. And my biggest advice, honestly, will just be to focus on yourself. Like, the more you're focusing on yourself and your own interests, your purpose, your passions, your body, your career, your brand, the less time you're going to have to entertain these people that are randomly hitting you up. Like, despite what society wants us to believe, our lives do not revolve around a man, honey. Get Find some business. Find some business of your own. Like, you're not going to have time to entertain these people. It's going to be like a nuisance that these people are hitting you up. You're like, I don't have time for this. And you're going to be too busy looking towards your future than looking at your past and worried about who decided to sleep on you and just finally woke up. Like, bye. Bye, ugly. <laughs> you, it's too late. So in conclusion, your time is the most valuable thing that you have. Like, we don't get time back. So we have to be really intentional about who we allow to have access to us and who is even deserving of being in our energy, being in our space. So you have to realize how amazing you are, your aura in itself, like the energy you give off, like not everyone is deserving to be in that space. And you don't really want to have all those bad energies around you either, or just bad people who have ill intentions in their heart. Like you have to be able to protect your energy and protect your space. And by doing that, you need to control who has and who doesn't, you know, have access to your life. Just because you're single doesn't mean that people aren't entitled to be able to just hit you up whenever they want. Like, just because you're single doesn't mean you have to reply to every text, you know? Like, you can have boundaries. You can have standards, even with just people texting you, even just your conversation. Like, then that's another thing. Like, just because you're single and you may be bored or quote-unquote lonely, don't entertain these people who you know it's just not it's not going anywhere like you have to be real like just, we have to understand the power of our energy the power of our time like you're just like oh i'm just bored it's whatever it don't mean nothing put that bored it don't mean nothing energy into a purpose into a new craft a new business like stop letting life pass you by and giving energy to people who are literally just sucking it up and not giving anything back but i know it's got a little intense but on a serious note, y'all, you have to understand that you are that girl and we need to start operating like that. We are all that and a bag of chips, I used to say back in the day. And like I said, you just need to own it and just understand that you are truly beautiful, you are truly special, and you don't have to wait around for someone to decide that they like you. Straight up. So, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I've been wanting to talk about this topic for a minute because I've seen it happened too many times like i said a lot of women just get stuck thinking that things are going to be different this time and often it's not and you look up and it's been years and the same man is popping in and out and nothing has changed so if you have a sis or a home girl that needs to hear this message please make sure you share it to her or just share it on your social media make sure you subscribe to the channel if you want to see more content like this definitely if you want to see me talk on a specific topic leave it down below in the comments I love you guys so much and I hope you have a blessed, blessed day. Peace and blessings. Bye.